Hello everyone, this is Rachna Arhebbar, studying in 8th SEM EC, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru. The topic of today's explanation is dynamic crosswalk scene understanding for the visually impaired people. These are the contents of today's agenda. Introduction, Literature Survey, Methodology, Results, Application, Conclusion and References. This is the flow of the paper. Introduction, Related Work, Crosswalk Scene Understanding System, Experimental Results and Analysis. Next is the introduction. Visual impairment is a condition that affects a person's ability to see. It can range from partial sight to the complete blindness. Independence plays a significant role for achieving goals and objectives in life. The independence and security for their daily activities and outdoor travel are necessary for them. The visually impaired individuals always find themselves in a challenging situation. These people face various problems in daily life as the modern assistive devices are often not meeting the user requirements in terms of price and level of assistance. Hence this paper, a crossing scene interpretation system, allows and measures the distance of important cross-road objects that has been proposed. A crosswalk detection system aids the visually impaired in adjusting their posture and they cross the street by differentiating PTL and VTL, that is pedestrian traffic light and vehicle traffic light. A crosswalk scene understanding system named the, is uses, uses a data set named a sensing AI data set. It is proposed a novel crosswalk detection method to indicate a visually impaired where to cross the road and a PTL module to distinguish PTL and VTL automatically and a depth image based distance measurement to achieve better understanding of the crosswalk scene. As you can see in the figure, the sensing AI is a lightweight, low power consumption, low cost and a portable head mounted assistive device for the visually impaired people with only 89 grams weight. It is composed of RGBD camera, that is a red, green, blue in depth camera, a bone conduction headset and a blind assisting app. The Android app runs the GPS navigation which is generally used by visually impaired people. The RGBD camera perceives the surroundings, the cell phone processes, the camera's data into the navigational information and the bone conduction headset makes it possible for the blind to collect navigational information and the surrounding sound. The RGBD camera includes a depth camera with an additional inertia measurement unit which measures the in linear accelerations and angular velocities. And next are the objectives. The general objectives for the dynamic crosswalk scene understanding for the visually impaired are first one is to improve the pedestrian safety for the visually impaired people by providing real time information about the environment to reduce the risk of accidents. Next is to enhance the mobility by providing information about the layout of the crosswalk such as direction of traffic, position of crossing signals and more. Next is to improve the independence by reducing their reliance on sighted assistance. Like they always want somebody who wants them to cross the road so they can make their own decisions about when and where to cross the road. Next is to improve the quality of life for the visually impaired people by reducing the stress and anxiety associated with the navigating busy roads. Next is to create the application which will identify the objects in the scene in order to provide the user to the real time information. Next is the literature survey. The first paper <coughs> which I have referred is Design and Implementation of the Smart Guided Glass for the Visually Impaired People by Mohammed Tobibul Islam, published in 2022. The pros of this paper are smart guided glass can provide real time guidance and navigation assistance and it improves the mobility and these glasses are wearable and portable. The cons is the co cost of developing all this implementing smart guided glass system can be high and which can limit their accessibility to the low income individuals. These glasses may be fragile and requires more maintenance. Next is a systematic review of urban navigation system for visually impaired people by Ayman Taha Jain Courtney in published in 2021. The pros of this paper are it can provide a comprehensive analysis of the existing research and the development of this field. It gives a clear evidence base for the effectiveness of different navigation systems. The cons of this paper are conducting a systematic review is a time consuming process that requires a significant investment of time and resources. The third paper which I have referred is a smart assistive system for blind people using Raspberry Pi by Maria Anu L. V. Gladens and Ramnath Velaga Bharadwaj Valluri published in 2021. It is portable making it easy for the user to carry with them as it is a smart stick the user can carry wherever he wants and it can also be designed to perform the multiple functions such as obstacle detection and text to speech conversion. The cons of this paper are the system may not be compatible with all the hardware devices. It has limited connectivity options which can restrict the ability to transfer the data or receive the updates. The next paper is the analysis of navigation and 
assistance for blind and visually impaired people, a systematic review by Suleiman Khan published in 2020. It enhances the user experience and helps to identify the destinations with the navigation assistance and it also provides better performance. It reduces the response times by increases the accurate, increasing the accuracy. The cons of this paper are analyze, analysis of navigation assistance can be a time consuming process. It requires more significant resources and expertise. The cost of conducting a thorough analysis is expensive. The next is obstacle detection system for visually impaired people by Tripathi Sharma published in 2020. With the smart stick, visually impaired people can travel more independently without any assistance. It helps the user, user to move more quickly and confidently without the fear of bumping into the obstacles. The cons of this paper are obstacle detection systems can be expensive to purchase and maintain. It can also be complex to set up and use. IoT based navigation system for visually impaired people by Shabnam Chaudhary by Shali Bhatia published in 2020. The system can provide real time feedback to the user guiding them through their environment and an IoT based navigation system can help to improve accessibility for the visually impaired individuals. The cons of this paper are the reliability of the IoT based navigation systems is heavily dependent on the technology used. IoT based navigation systems may not be available in all the locations which could limit their usefulness for some users. Next is the methodology. Humans rely heavily on their visual sense to direct them to their intended location, find the right way across familiar or unfamiliar indoor situations. The dynamic crosswalk scene understanding for visually impaired requires a thorough methodology. It includes data gathering, pre-processing, object detection, lane detection, motion detection, risk assessment, auditory feedback, testing and iterative improvements. The system utilizes a variety of technologies such as sensors, cameras and computer vision algorithms to detect, identify and track the objects in the crosswalk scene understanding. Next is a block diagram. The block diagram of the dynamic crosswalk scene understanding is shown here. This representation of the crosswalk uh, detector is composed of two components. One is candidate extraction and then is the candidate analysis. In candidate extraction, the input that is the RGB image and RGBD image is extracted and this RGBD image is converted into the HSV image which will, which since it can represent the color of the image more accurately. The object detection will be carried out in three ways. One is crosswalk detector, PTL detection and then the distance measurement. The white region in the HSV image is extracted as a crosswalk mask with the characteristics of black, white strips and black strips as a binary image. Next, the crosswalk detector will, be, will detect the path for the pedestrians to cross the road and the PTL that is pedestrian traffic light will detect the traffic light and help the user to cross the road and distance measurement will be done to tell the user at what distance the obstacle is present. Even though the majority of noises on the images are filtered, there are still some noises brought by the sky buildings and the vehicles. In the candidate analysis, median filtering and opening operations are used to remove all the small noises. The crosswalks, edge and lines are detected using the canny edge detection technique and the Huff transforms algorithm. All the three detection mechanisms, these are concatenated together to give the output of the crosswalk scenes with the lanes highlighted and the measurement of the obstacles in meters, which will tell the user when to walk on the street when the street is free. Next is a flow algorithm. The flow algorithm provides an overview of the dynamic crosswalk scene understanding system for the visually impaired people. It highlights the main steps involved in this process, including input, <laughs> including input, pre-processing, object detection, lane detection, motion detection, risk assessment, audio feedback, user response, iterative improvement and output. The video stream or the image will, of the crosswalk scene is captured as the input. The input data is then pre-processed to enhance the step, to enhance the image quality, remove the noise and adjust the color balance. The pre-processed data is then fed into the object detection algorithms which will detect the objects which are present in front of the pedestrians. The motion of the object is detected in the scene to identify uh, the moving vehicles, pedestrians and other obstacles. Then the scene is analyzed to determine the risk level of the visually impaired people using the risk assessment algorithms. Then the audio feedback will be provided to the user to alert them of the potential risks in the scene using the text to speech algorithm or some pre-recorded audio files. The user will then respond to the audio feedback by either stopping or continuing to cross the road. This system is iteratively improved 
by based on the feedback and testing, it, uh, it will be added with the new features and improvements to the existing methods. The system provides an output that informs the visually impaired user about the safety of the crosswalk scene and helps them to cross the road without any interruptions. Next is the results. The in-depth tests on measuring the distance, identifying the pedestrian traffic lights and detecting the crosswalks has been carried out. The, the, here the two methods are compared. One is YOLO, the first one is YOLO V4 technique and the second one is R technique. The outcomes of the YOLO V4 technique is incorrectly interpreting the traffic lights and the distance of the traffic lights and it is, uh, it, it is giving VTL a green color. So, but our system produces a more accurate output, which helps the user to understand the crosswalk scene very easily and that he can cross the road without any interruptions. And uh, here a laser range finder is used to measure the actual distance of the obstacles in front of him. With the 0.5 meter measuring error, it has 600 meter measuring range. So the figure B and C are the examples of the range finders, which is determined by the distance of the objects in front of them. And this is the experimental results of the crosswalk scene understanding system, which is shown here. In this graph, the x-axis is the actual distance and the y-axis is the measured distance, both measured in meters. Here, the green line indicates the ra uh, laser range finders distance and the dotted lines, red lines, are. this indicates the, the readings from our system. Next, some of the applications of the dynamic crosswalk scene understanding systems are object detection, pedestrian detection, navigation assistance, audio and tactile cues, variable technologies. Then the conclusion. The method of crossing scene interpretation, which is known as dynamic crossing scene understanding for visually impaired, provides the visually impaired with the information they need, such as crosswalk, PTL, pedestrian and vehicle information needed for the user to cross the street very safely. The crosswalk detection technique is provided to locate the crosswalks and present clear walking guidance for the user. The identification of the flashing green light is based on the detection of pedestrian traffic lights. Extensive experiments validated the precision, speed and robustness of the suggested approach. The system utilizes a variety of technologies such as sensors, cameras, computer vision algorithms to detect, identify and track the objects in the crosswalk environment. The system then uses this information to provide the audio keys to the blind people, allowing them to navigate through the crosswalk very safely. These are the references which are which have been used for the literature survey papers. And then thank you.